We're getting some more breaking news and this is concerning the Ministry of External Affairs. The official spokesperson of the MEA, Mr. Arindam Bakchi, has now responded to the Khalistan threat that is emanating out of Canada. He has spoken about the posters inciting violence against Indian diplomats, which he says are unacceptable and uh, the fact that India condemns them all. The matter has been taken up with Canadian authorities, he says, and also the fact that freedom of speech and expression is being misused on Canadian soil. Those reports of, uh, you know, the, that's where it started off. There is a rally on the so-called rally on the 8th. Uh, first and foremost, there are two separate elements. You would have seen posters inciting uh, violence against Indian diplomats. I think, Manash, you were referring to that. What do we do? What is our overall sense? Look, our sense is that these uh, posters inciting violence against our diplomats and our diplomatic premises are abroad, uh, abroad are unacceptable, and we condemn them in the strongest terms. Um, with respect to Canada, the matter has been strongly taken up with the Canadian authorities, um, both in New Delhi and in Ottawa. Let me bring in my colleague Siddhant Mishra, who is joining us on the broadcast now. Siddhant, when the Indian authorities speak about how the matter of Khalistan separatism finding space in Canada is concerned, that has been taken up with Canadian authorities. What is the kind of action that is being expected and what is the kind of conversation that we are learning India has done with Canadian counterparts? Well, you know, all sorts of uh, exercises have already been uh, made. In fact, uh, uh, here at New Delhi level, a uh, uh, senior diplomat was summoned uh, by Ministry of External Affairs. Then uh, through our Indian High Commission in Ottawa, uh, the same has been conveyed. In fact, before this particular poster, uh, 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 development, uh, uh, poster development, uh, the uh, the Indian High Commissioner had already conveyed uh, to Canada and, and had also conveyed uh, the security concerns and, you know, uh, of diplomatic mission and diplomats in Canada. So a lot has been done when mm. it comes to Canada. The only problem that India is finding is that Canada is not acting. Canada is not, uh, uh, you know, perhaps uh, uh, they only take cognizance, they only condemn what has happened. They are not moving beyond that. And mm. today also, what has happened is only a lip service coming from Justin Trudeau. He himself cannot explain the action that has been taken by his government against such group. Or he cannot tell a single uh, perhaps a step that his government has taken against such groups. So it's just a lip service and that mm. perhaps makes India uh, make situation uh, complicated for India when it comes uh, uh, to dealing with Canada. So, you know, everything has been done and, and, you know, the intention of the government doesn't look like that they want to curb uh, such protests or, you know, stop them or take some action. So, you know, that okay. the same has been recreated that, mm. you know, when it comes to Canada, they have been reminded multiple times mm. the security of diplomats are a matter of, is a matter of grave concern. Mm. And the Indian government has a very strong views. So that, um, uh, Mr. Bakshi also speaks about the rally that is slated to take place tomorrow in Canada. Uh, anything uh, that can be done as far as intervention by Indian authorities to maybe stop or allay the fears of uh, the Indians who are residing there uh, in the wake of the rally? Yes, absolutely. And, you know, look, when it comes to rally, when it comes to posters, when it comes mm. to, you know, all sorts of activities that they do uh, against India, you know, India tag it uh, and calls it the misuse of expression of uh, uh, freedom of speech. You know, the misuse of freedom of speech, uh, uh, of speech is, is what India calls it. And also, you know, India uh, uh, keeps uh, uh, the authorities in Canada informed about all their activities, their presence, and how they are misusing Canadian soil for anti-India mm -hmm. uh, 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 agenda to fulfill anti-Indian, and how these, uh, you know, criminal elements are present on Canadian soil and yes. how they are involved in conspiracies. Like all Canada know, knows each and everything about all these uh, players 
uh, belonging to these uh, K, these K groups. Mm. But no action has been taken, and and you mm. know, uh, I, the things have gone now uh, beyond uh, diplomatic intervention mm. because because there is also a limit when it comes to diplomatic intervention. Yeah. Maximum India can do is to intervene to put it in a strongest possible way. to convey it at the highest level that is mm. max india can do at a diplomatic level but uh, but it looks like that canada is not abiding to the vienna convention yeah. and and you know and and with each time around whenever india issues any statement uh, they do mention about the about the uh, about vienna convention which they have to abide by the safety of diplomat the safety of diplomatic mission mm. is the responsibility of the host government Absolutely. so again india has today reminded canada for the same and india believes that somewhere someday canada will respond to what uh, india is flagging off and also today mr trudeau's statement it may be a lip service hmm. but it is a result of healthy indian diplomacy All because right. the strong strongest indian diplomacy that at least mr trudeau had to Uh, react to the question which was posed absolutely so then then uh, since uh, yeah. you are mentioning about the reaction that has come in by way of the canadian prime minister mr justin trudeau uh, and the fact that we are calling it uh, mere lip service no action all talk no action let's take a look at exactly what he said followed by other reactions that we have picked in on the story they are wrong canada has always taken extremely seriously violence and threats of violence we've always taken serious action against terrorism and we always will they are wrong canada has always taken extremely seriously violence and threats of violence we've always taken serious action against terrorism and we always will these are deeply regrettable events um we take very seriously the safety and security of diplomats uh that are living in the United States um we have been in close contact with indian authorities with local law enforcement we are trying to take the necessary steps to ensure that indian diplomatic community feels um safe and secure here and we'll continue with that work going forward कि हम जो जो हमारे जो पार्टनर देश जो हैं जैसे कनाडा है अमेरिका है यूके है ऑस्ट्रेलिया है जहां कभी कभी खालिस्तानी एक्टिविटीज होती हैं हमने उनको रिक्वेस्ट की है कि वो उनको खालिस्तानियों को स्पेस ना दें क्योंकि उन जो उनकी सोच जो है ये ये रेडिकल एक्सट्रीमिस्ट विचारधारा जो है वो ना हमारे लिए अच्छा है ना उनके लिए है ना हमारे रिश्तों के लिए तो ये ये जो पोस्टर का विषय जो है ये हम जरूर उन सरकारों से उठाएंगे हो सकता कि हम अभी तक क्योंकि ये कल कल परसों ही निकला था हो सकता कि अभी तक को भी